Diversity, equity, and inclusion is an incredibly important topic in our industry. I'm lucky enough to be joined today by Paul Zettel, Chief Marketing Officer at Cohen & Steers to learn more. So Paul, thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you for having me, Shannon. So you're hot off the heels of a think tank all around diversity, equity, and inclusion. What were some of the takeaways from that? Yeah, the big takeaway from that session really was giving um, advice and insight to advisors. And I think the, for me, it was the power of building an inclusive culture. It's something that any advisor, no matter how large or small their firm is, can really focus on the culture that they're building. And we've heard speakers throughout the conference talk about the power of a culture, and you really need an inclusive culture to retain and attract the best talent. And so I think point one of building an inclusive culture is it really matters to the next generation. Gallup did a study recently that 20% of Gen Z identifies with the LGBTQ community, 11% millennials. This is a huge cohort. And so if you're recruiting to the next generation or from the next generation or your clients are gonna come from the next generation, you really need to have an inclusive culture that you can talk about and retain and recruit the best talent. Secondly, the tone is set from the top. So the words that you use matter and you can't assume everybody is straight. You need to signal to your organization that you're an inclusive, open culture by talking about things like you know, significant other, partner, to signal that you're an open and inclusive culture. And then lastly, why an inclusive culture is important. It really produces the most engaged, productive, innovative employees. And it's what you're gonna sell in recruiting, and it's what you're gonna use to retain your talent. So uh, the key takeaway for me was the power of an inclusive culture where everyone belongs. And where can advisors start ultimately, if this is a newer concept to some of them? So where can they ultimately start and maybe educate themselves on this and ultimately implement that into their practice? Yeah, I think uh, conferences like this, the takeaways that wealthmanagement.com is going to produce from the session will provide resources. That's a great starting point to, re to recruit young uh, talent from diverse communities. Local universities are great places to start. The career offices can help you and just to be deliberate about recruiting from a different pool of candidates is a great place to begin. And are you hopeful that our industry specifically is, is making the strides necessary to really truly create a diverse and inclusive environment for everyone? So I am hopeful that overall our culture as an as a industry, wealth management and asset management industry is evolving, but we have a long ways to go. So it's a race without a finish line. Uh, I think this think tank and the, uh, the minds, the great minds that Suzanne and Mark brought together will help create more momentum in the industry. And I think with the advisor community having a deliberate focus on it, they too will make in inroads. Absolutely. Well, Paul, pleasure speaking with you today. Appreciate your insights. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. For Edge TV, I'm Shannon Rosick.